sisi ni wabunge ambao tuna tuko kwa mrengo wa Kenya kwanza kutoka sehemu za ukambani na kwanza nataka niseme kwamba ile shida ambayo iko at river sio shida mpya ni shida ambayo ilianza kitambo wa Kenya wanakumbuka kwamba wakati mheshimiwa George Saitoti alikuwa waziri wa internal security wakati wa serikali ya mheshimiwa Mwai Kibaki in the year 2011 2010 aliweza kuteua tume maalum ya kwenda kuchunguza jinsi wakora walikuwa wamejipanga kuvamia shamba za serikali chaired by former commissioner Abdullah Duba so there was a Saitoti commission and the report came in 2012 if those of you care to read and the report named some of the people who are involved and the names that are being mentioned are not new because they are in the 2012 Saitoti report na baadaye mnakumbuka kwamba mimi nilikuwa ninafanya kazi katika county ya Machakos na najua kwamba hii shida imekuwekwa kwamba watu wanajipanga wachache wanaji, wanajihami wanavamia shamba ya serikali ama wanavamia shamba ya mtu binafsi wanajifanya maskota kusudi ndio waweze kupata right of ownership ya mashamba kwa hivyo kumekuwa na wanasiasa patron ambao ni, ni, ni patrons kumekuwa na kateos ambao ni criminals wanatumika kuvamia mashamba na kumekuwa na wafanyikazi katika maofisi za serikali katika survey na katika land registry ambao wamekuwa wakisaidia hao na vile vile kumekuwa kwamba ndio utumwa machakos kama county commander ndio utumwe mavoko kama OSPD ama DC lazima ukue katika hiyo katel so imekuwa ni katel kubwa ambayo imekuwa ikiumiza iki, iki watu wetu hivi leo tunaviongea si shamba ya Portland peke yake ambayo imenyang'anywa na ni vizuri watu wetu waelewe kuna shamba ya Portland kuna shamba ya numerical machines kuna mashamba private ambazo zimechukuliwa some of our most prominent people including judge Mbaluto shamba yake katani imevamiwa na wakora hao hao kwa hivyo ni the problem is bigger kwanza ni solution ile ambayo imekuja na nikimalizia ni kwamba this has been long overdue hao watu wote tunajuana wale ambao wamechukua mashamba hao wanasiasa wengine tuko nao hapa kwa bunge na wote wana, wamekuwa wakisema wanajua wanaweza faulu ama wasifaulu so they have never been sure because they have never had a right over this land they knew one day if the government makes is decisive they have no claim over that land so it is important for for it to be known that uh, they are shedding crocodile tears namba pili ndio tunasema kwamba tumeuliza serikali kwa sababu what is being said huku nje ni kwamba oh wakamba wanavamiwa hii ni shamba ya wakamba wakamba wamekuwa hapa the kamba people we have about, about 5.5 million wale watu ambao wako mavoko ni about 1500 people and none, not all of them are kambas that is important for people to know kwamba wale watu wame, tumeona wengine Congo village Congo kwani Congo ni, ni, ni makweni watu wa Congo wanasema Congo village wametolewa Congo wamekuja wamepewa mashamba hapo alafu tunaambiwa wao ni wakamba wamenyang'anywa shamba kwani Congo village yao ni watu wa makweni ama ni watu wa kitui tumesikia huyu e, tumeona hule so ni wa Kenya wamekuwa pale wengi yani wamenyang'anywa pesa na wanajua ni nani alikunyang'anya pesa pili umeuziwa shamba umejenga hoteli shamba umeuziwa eka kumi na umesema umelipa 500000 shamba iko mavoko 500000 ni wapi shamba ya 10 acres inaweza kuwa 500000 kumaanisha hata wewe ukinunua ulijua unanunua fake tatu hakuna shamba inapeanwa na mtu binafsi shamba inapeanwa na serikali kama una, umekuja umepata mtu binafsi amekwambia na kupatia shamba ndio ujenge. Sasa si serikali ya county, si National Land Commission, si Ministry ya Lands, nani binafsi anaweza kupeana shamba? Kwa hivyo tuache ubunuasi. E, tuulize watu wetu wa Waipa tuache ubunuasi, tuache ku ati ni jambo la wakamba, si jambo la wakamba. Ndugu yangu akiiba si mimi nimeiba. Ni wachache wawili watatu wameiba na tunawajua kama umekuwa ukiletewa pesa ya kufanya kampeni kutoka kwa mashamba ya Portland ndugu yangu declare your interest useme hawa wamekuwa wakiuza hizi mashamba wananiletea pesa kufanya kampeni mimi naitwa fulani fulani kutoka sikuru na nimekuwa nikiletewa hiyo pesa kufanya kampeni let us just be open na si jambo imefanyika ukambani peke yake hivi tunaviongea kericho kuna wale ambao walikuwa wamevamia mashamba ya tea factories wametolewa kwa hizo mashamba wale ambao wamekuwa wamevamia mashamba ya mau wametolewa so it is not an ukambani only problem we want to say that uh, 
lazima we must correct the wrongs of the past mm. now what we have uh, been told uh, is that uh, ishamba it will be put into public use kutajengwa ma factory kutajengwa manyumba and the, our only request is that uh, his excellency the president prioritizes the local community wakati kazi zikitengenezwa 60% zipewe watu wetu wa kamba ndio tuweze kusonga mbele asanteni sana and the media please tell the story as it is stop sugar coating stop working with cartels and criminals these people are criminals and you cannot tell the story of the criminal and you don't tell the story that is in public interest thank you very much